A common claim by anti-environmentalists is that an alleged ban of the pesticide DDT caused millions of deaths worldwide from malaria. First, let's hear from a few of them. The discussion is that by eliminating DDT, malaria worldwide exploded. Brought up the Rachel Carlson book, Silent Spring. One of those things that it did was make a villain out of the pesticide DDT. DDT had been amazingly effective at killing mosquitoes. Shouldn't we be killing mosquitoes with DDT? If you, want to, if you care about the people in Africa, the answer is yes. People there thought they said, you've got to do a story of DDT, how they banned DDT, and all these people in Africa died. And that's the other great untold environmental story is how they banned DDT and malaria shot up. And then if you ask them really simple questions about the children, about the children who died before their fifth birthdays all over Africa because of what you did, you and Rachel Carson, because of what you did, those children died. You, you are an environmentalist. Did you call yourself an environmentalist? That's what environmentalists did. Now explain it to me. 1960s, when the ban on DDT came in, they shut down all use of DDT worldwide. And people like you need a wake up. An even better example of your absurd naivete is when you tried to defend Rachel Carson, and it was banned. So because of this, 500 million people die each year of malaria. Wow, they're angry. And wrong. A few questions for them. Was DDT ever banned for use against malaria? No. The Stockholm Convention has always allowed for the use of DDT against malarial mosquitoes, and this continues right up to this day. So, was DDT banned for agricultural use in some countries? Yes, but never for use against malaria, as stated in the Stockholm Convention. A search of Google Scholar for scientific peer-reviewed papers on mosquito resistance to DDT in the 1950s and 60s reveals just how widespread DDT resistance in mosquitoes had already become. There are hundreds of papers in multiple countries showing just how common DDT resistance had become, even as early as 1950. Apparently, resistance developed because of the indiscriminate overuse of DDT for agricultural pest control. If anything, the agricultural ban on DDT extended its life for use against malaria, in exactly the same way that limiting antibiotic use can help to extend its life in the fight against bacteria. Whether the anti-environmentalists are intentionally spreading misinformation or are just plain ignorant is not clear. But what is clear is that they are entirely wrong about any kind of ban of DDT for use against malaria. So to summarise, to them.